now to explain why. Caesar? Well, Lana, as we've had that active pattern really helping boost our snowpack, it's actually led to many avalanches occurring over the weekend with a few burials that search and rescue had to attend to. Again, we do need the snow in the mountains, but avalanche danger remains elevated. Before the weekend even began, the Utah Avalanche Center released a special statement regarding the elevated avalanche risk. As the weak layer we developed through January and February, the new snow we have been getting has left many areas prone to slides. This left one group in that unfortunate situation. It was a, a party of eight that was traveling in Silver Fork, uh, two guides and six clients. Uh, they left out of Alta in the morning and, and ascended up to the ridge, uh, descended down into the east bowl of Silver Fork, uh, and one of the gentlemen triggered an avalanche and was uh, a full burial. The skier was buried under six feet of snow and sustained some injuries due to the slide, but luckily his team went into action quickly. While this accident did not turn fatal, heading into the rest of the spring season, the danger will remain. Calling for the proper help in these situations will be the difference between injuries and death. Saturday was a life or death example. Uh, we do encourage people, um, especially as we get into more of our busy, conventional busy season, which is the hiking and climbing season coming up, that um, you know, if you're lost, um, if it's just a, a simple ankle injury or something like that, call before you get uh, hurt worse or, or more significant. And while search and rescue wants to help every call they receive, they can only do so much if the avalanche danger is still too high. We say in the search and rescue world that our own personal safety is our first priority. Uh, the safety of our team is our second priority, and the safety of our victims is the third priority. No, no offense to our victims, but if we have a whole team that gets caught in another avalanche, uh, that's just a much larger situation for us. And with over 40 avalanches happening during this past week, the avalanche danger still remains high, so if we can actually avoid some of those avalanche prone areas until the danger does lessen, it'll really help out keep not only ourselves safe, but search and rescue as well. Live in Salt Lake County, meteorologist Cesar Cornejo, ABC4 News. All right, thank